All right, guys, it is it's Taco Tuesday today, but <laughs> but I got Melody Fleming in the studio. I'm getting some tacos tonight. That's on my mind right now. <laughs> but first, we got a big interview um, with Melody Fleming. She flew in from Vegas? Yes, I did. Short flight. Short flight. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do that Southwest? Straight to the money. We do JetBlue. Oh, okay, you do JetBlue. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't flown JetBlue. They're pretty nice. I'm always doing Southwest. I always think Delta and American is still better. Yeah? Leg room, charge your phone. You can't beat that. <laughs> I feel that. Definitely. Uh, so about a 45-minute flight to uh, from Vegas to Arizona. You came with the entourage. Appreciate everybody sliding today. Definitely. What's it been like for you right now coming up? Because... Right now, I feel like you really have been putting out content out there. You're, Definitely. you know, you're putting, you're doing your photo shoots, you're doing your music. Um, it's it's a f- full spectrum with you. It is. So is everything. What's that been like being busy like that? Um, so with me staying busy, um, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's pretty hard, just because um, I do everything on my own. So like I do my own distribution. I do my own scheduling for like if I have to be do a concert or be somewhere like as such as here. I pretty much do everything. So it's a little frustrating, but I definitely feel like it's worth it. So and I'm pretty dedicated. So I get everything done. So when you say you do everything, you're pretty much your own boss, your own manager. Yep, the whole I'm my own years. boss, my own manager. I'm like 100% independent. So, yeah. So let me ask you, is there a reason why maybe you haven't, you don't have a manager right now? Um, well, I know my potential. And I feel like that's just what it is for me. So I have a lot of people that want to manage me, but they don't fit the criteria of what I'm looking for. So I feel like once the right team come to me and I feel like we vibe and and that's where I'll I'll land. But as of right now, I feel like I'm pretty in control of everything else that I have going on. I like that. I like that. So let me ask you, what are you looking for then in a manager? Um, somebody that can, I mean, I need everything in a manager in one. So I need somebody that can book my show, somebody that can plan my flight, somebody that can text me and say, hey, you have to be here at this time. Somebody that has enough connections that can put me in the spotlight because within myself, I have pretty much enough connections. So if you have more than what I have, then okay, let's talk. But pretty much right now, I'm okay with taking 100% royalties, 100% masters, you know, break it down to what I got to pay the engineer or the producer. But other than that, I'm pretty much cool with taking a whole piece of the cake. Take the whole bag. (laughs) I mean, why why pay out money if you can do it yourself right now? Right. Why pay out money if you can do it yourself? Shout out to Bear, by the way. We brought the Bear today. Shout out to the Bear. (laughs) (laughs) Homie. Um, so no, that's dope that you're able to, to manage everything yourself on top of, you know, being a musician, being a model too. I mean, you're tapped into it all. So it's, exactly. it's pretty dope that you got the business side of it all handled too. I'm thinking that it's going to get to a point where you're going to be like, yo, I got to get a manager. I need to be doing some interviews. I need to get some managers in here ASAP yeah. to see who I'm comfortable with. But this is my thing. I feel like the team within itself is going to come with everything. The team is going to come with a photographer. The team is going to come with a videographer. The team is going to come with a makeup artist. The team is going to come with enough money to get me to work with them. The team is going to come with everything I need. Facts. And you got the team built already. Exactly. So, so I got the team in mind built within my mind. But as of right now, I'm just working with people that I feel like are pretty much independent and working hard themselves. Okay. Dope. Um, Melody, where are you from? I'm from Wisconsin, so. So I'm from Illinois, close by. Yeah, I was born in Chicago, but I was raised in Madison, Wisconsin. You were raised in Madison, Wisconsin, right? In college town. Yeah. That's crazy. I haven't been (laughs) over there. We lit, (laughs) no. Did you you go to school out there, too? Yes, I went to elementary school, middle school, and high school there, so. The full nine yards. Mm -hmm. Was it right after high school you decided to pursue music? Um, Or were you doing music, like, way before that? I would honestly say it was right after high school because I graduated at 17. So once I left, I moved to Vegas. Well, right after high school, I got into college. So I didn't focus on music or modeling for the first two years of being like living on my own. And then after that, I was like, what am I doing going to college? What am I doing? Like, I should be doing music. I could have been did this. So I was just like, you know what? I'm not even going to pursue what I went to school for. I'm just going to strictly focus on what I want to do. So then I, that's just, that's another reason there's been a delay. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. How long ago was this? How long ago was college? Um, I started school in 2019. Okay. So this is recent. Yeah. Well, am I? 
20 we're 20 no, and 21 no, 2018 okay yeah so a few years ago 2018 <laughs> and then you were like you know what i'm putting the pen and the paper down i'm going yeah. right to the recording studio school was fine but it wasn't really me for sure yeah i felt like the same thing i didn't go to college um i pursued a, a job i had at the time mm-hmm. but i always feel like yo if you're passionate about something especially if you're doing it on your own go for that Definitely. do that you know what i'm saying for um, sure. i don't want to work for nobody Exactly. Especially if I'm not passionate about the job. Too, no, you for me? real. This is my passion. So, it is. And this is your passion. Exactly. So it works out really good. Um, so you're, you're a newer artist that's making some big waves right now. Let's say that. Definitely. Thank you. For sure. Um, what are some projects that you have out? I'm sure we have some singles. Do we yes. Do we have an EP out from you? We do not have an okay. EP out from me right now. We do have um, a lot of singles, though. So we have Proud of Me. That's the main one that I've been pretty much focusing on. Um, we have Drip Location. We have Goddess. We have Stutter. And then pretty soon, I'm going to be dropping an EP, and I'm going to be dropping a couple of singles for everybody, so I'm pretty excited, so yeah. Okay, so you said that you were born in Chicago, mm-hmm. raised in Wisconsin, moved yeah. to Vegas. Mm-hmm. What's it been like going from Wisconsin to Vegas? I feel like it was a good move. I feel That's like everybody sure. around me, like I bought... Um, like, I bought a new car, I bought a Camaro, and I was like, Hell yeah. this is so nice. Then somebody, this girl, she pulled up on the side of me, and she had, like, a newer car. And I was like, okay, it just makes you want to elevate your lifestyle because everyone around you is doing more or doing better. So with me, I'm like, oh, everybody around me, they buying mansions. I'm like, okay, I got, a, <laughs> I got a penthouse mid-rise, but, you know, I'm trying to get to their level. So being in Vegas is a good situation because you're around the bosses. So they not interested in anything else but being a boss, and that's me. So I feel like it works out. You're a boss, I can tell. Definitely. <laughs> you got that boss. You got that boss swag for sure. Thank you. Just from like you know, even just working with you throughout this interview, I can tell I'm like you're on it. You know what I mean? You Thank handle you. your business right. So that's important, especially in this game because it is. People need to understand, yo. You. I always say music first, but you got to have it all nowadays. You got to have the music. You got to have the hustle. You got to have the drive, the personality, and people got to like you. That's definitely true. Especially in this industry. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, have you had any shows? I've had a couple of shows, but I haven't had like any really big stadium. Like, you know what I mean? Boom, yeah, uh, like <laughs> Raider Stadium. Yeah, <laughs> that's the goal. Like, yeah. So I've had like regular shows, but I haven't had any big shows. Have you opened up for anybody? That's... I haven't opened up for anyone big yet. Let's go! Let's go! Let's, let's go! It's go. happening after this interview. It's happening for sure. It's happening. Um, is there any artist you would really like to go on tour with? Um. I feel like I would definitely like to go on tour with OTF Lil Dirk just because he's Let's from go. Chicago. See what it is. You okay, see you got the OTF tatted. OTF. I had Duty Low in here just recently, yes. so that was fire. So I would definitely go on tour with OTF because they're from where I'm from. So we vibe. The we shot. got the same personality. Um, somebody else I would like to go on tour with would be, of course, Nicki Minaj. I love her. She is the queen, and I just feel like that. That's just personally. I don't care what anybody say about Nicki. That's my baby. She's number one. She's number one, always will be. Facts. So, yes, I would like to go on tour with her, too. Hell, yeah. Would you Young say, money, no. <laughs> young money, OTF, all of it. Um, would you say Nicki is one of your biggest inspirations as being a musician? Um, I would say Nicki Minaj definitely played a huge role in, she's definitely influential. Um, But another person that's really influential that I feel like a lot of people haven't been talking about is Dej Loaf. Hell yeah. So dope. Hell yeah. She has some tracks with Ross too. She's so dope. She is dope. Yeah. She needs to be talked about more. I'm happy you brought her up. She definitely do. So yeah, Dej Loaf is definitely. She hard. She can flow for sure. So I need to hear from her. Like I need to hear some more music from her. I need to... I'm listening. I'm waiting. So I've had the privilege to interview a few different female recording artists. Not a whole lot. Um, I'm happy you're here. But what do you think it's like coming up in the game right now as a female recording artist? Um, so with me, it's a little different because I'm not rapping about what everybody else is rapping about. So I guess that could be hard in a sense because everybody want to hear certain things. And I'm rapping about certain things. So it, it's kind of like up and down. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's up and down. I feel that. Um, Because I'm not, like, rapid. I mean, me and the City Girls got two different genres. Even, I mean, me and Nicki Minaj, we kind of similar, but we have two different, like, styles. And I only want to ask this because I don't know. 
Have you felt like being a female, you're getting the same opportunities as a male recording artist? Um, I feel like honestly, or maybe more. Yeah, I feel like I get the same amount, but I feel like you have to prioritize who you work with as a female. Okay. Just because a lot of men are like on some different shit. They don't be wanting to record the song. Right. They don't want to put the song out. You know, so you got to be careful about. They got who a you different agenda. With. Mm-hmm. Facts for sure. I see that. Yeah. Have you had any bad experiences like, oh, yo, let's do a song together and it wound up being something different? Or um, try to I be definitely di- had a, w- so with a producer, I'm not even going to say any names. Yeah, we don't need to drop any names. I ain't going to say any names. He don't need any We can clout. tell the story. He's dope though, but yeah. <laughs> so he ended up producing a song for me and he was just like, oh, so he just ended up making a big deal about the song and he ended up liking me. So then it was people that were hitting him up from Atlanta like, oh, I want it. I love this song. I want to, like, feature it, and he wouldn't send them the files. So I feel like oh, that was kind of bogus. Because he wanted to mm-hmm. maybe get on a date or something like that. He, mm-hmm. And you ain't about that. This exactly. is business. We doing yeah, business. Yeah, that's just me. For sure. So a lot of people don't get it. They're like, dang, she's strictly business. Yes, I'm strictly business. I feel like know your role. If we're working together with business, we're yeah. doing business. Mm-hmm. If Melody hits you up at 10 at night and she wants to grab a drink, that's friends. Right? So it's all about know your role, especially in this industry. Like, For sure. If you're working with a producer, yo, we're doing a track together. Let's mm-hmm. let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Just like you're here, we're doing an interview. You feel exactly. me? Like everybody needs to play their role and For stay sure. in the For sure. And stay. most people don't know how to play their role. And I feel like that's the problem. So I feel like that's only a problem with you if you're an independent artist. Okay. Because I don't have a male figure to... to or a manager. To go and incorporate stuff, so I'm doing it on my own, so more people... You know what I mean? You're so doing I'm in bullshit. contact. Right. You know, whereas if you have somebody else in contact, it's a little bit easier. You know what I mean? You're so, dealing with the negotiations and the bullshit. Right. When somebody else can get all that done, <laughs> you just walk in the studio, let's right. go, go, go. Right, exactly. I feel that for sure. Um, if you could have one feature, who's that feature going to be, male and female? Mm. If I could have one feature from a female, it's going to have to be Nicki Minaj because she's the GOAT. She's the queen. If I could have a male feature right now, <laughs> I feel like it would be... Everybody says Drake. It's between... I was going to say... Everybody says Drake. So let's. everybody wants a Drake feature. Let's leave Drake out of it. I would say... <laughs> I want to... I'm not... I'm a, I would definitely wasn't thinking Drake. Okay, good. But I'm thinking, e- but Pooh Shiesty's in jail. Oh, man. Free Shiesty. <laughs> Either Pooh Shiesty or Rick Ross. Okay. For hey, sure. Let's go. We got the boss. Yeah. Come on, boss. I'm going to clip this. Pooh Shiesty or Rick Ross. Okay. Have you been a fan of Ross for a long time? Definitely a fan of Ross. What is your favorite project by Ross? Ashton Mark. Hell yeah. Old school music. stuff. <laughs> it's incredible how long he's been in the game for. For sure. And he's dropping a new album, Richer Than I Ever Been. Mm-hmm. Shout out my boy Trop. Shout Trop out. Da Vinci. Uh, Trop Da Vinci. He's been doing some incredible stuff with the boss. I'm excited for this album to drop. For sure. I can't wait. Waiting to hear it. The like fe- Features are going to be crazy. <laughs> for sure. So maybe we'll get one day a boss and Melody Fleming project. You never know. Biggest boss and another biggest boss. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Two bosses. Let's go. For let's sure. go. For <laughs> sure. So you said you got some projects coming with videos this year? Yes. If they already so I have a, the I have up? a lot of videos on YouTube already. Like Goddess is a video, Drip Location is going to be a video. It's my time is a video. But my new song Voicemail definitely gonna drop a song a video for that. Okay. Um, and another song I just got done recording. I haven't figured out a name for it yet, but it's so dope. So I'm doing a video for that too. <laughs> How do you figure out like as an artist like what I'm gonna name this song? So usually with me, it usually comes off in the beginning. I'm like, oh, this is the beat. This is the name of the song. This is what I'm going to talk about. But with this song, it was just like a walk in the studio freestyle, and it just turned out to be so dope. I'm like, wow, I don't know what to call it. That's funny. Actually, okay, you know what? I'm going to name it Verified. Verified? Yeah. That's it. Verified. <laughs> verified. Dope. I yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. We need you verified, bro. I need For to get sure. verified. What's up, Instagram? <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> We're going to be sending that request in. We need it. I'm Let's verified go. in the streets, though. Facts. You know what I mean? Big Boss <laughs> Melody. They know what time it is. Hell yeah. For sure. <laughs> um, are you tapped into the Vegas scene? Because I've interviewed a lot of different artists from Vegas. Um, most recently, I had Dylan Jacob. Mm-hmm. Um, I had YVN Tay. Yeah. Um, this guy, CZFG. This, this girl, Mars, who I actually liked a lot. Um, just a lot of different Vegas artists have been hitting me up. I'm not even going to sit on here and lie. I don't know any Vegas okay. 
artists. guess that's my job to make sure I'm tapped in with them. I personally stay to myself. I reach out more to the Midwest, down south, east coast because I pref- I like their genre. And plus, I, you can I, network on two sides. And it's just I, I, that's what I'm. That's where I'm from, and that's sure. what sounds the best to me. I I love the West Coast. I love their sound, but I love where I'm from as well, and that's just what I know. Cool. So that's where I tap into. I feel that. What's your favorite project that you have out right now? My favorite project would be Proud of Me, but today I'm definitely going to go with Drip Location. I'm going to do Drip Location because okay. I've been doing a lot of Proud of Me. I want to give Drip Location some shine, too. All right, so, yo, we're in Scottsdale. That's the location, but I think Melody said she's going to perform Drip Location today. Um, this track's already out, too? Yes, it is. Video's out? Yes, it is. All right, so we're going to do a live performance in the studio, Drip Location, with Melody. Um When's the next single dropping? I could drop it by the end of this month. Okay. Just two singles will be dropped by the end of this month. And as far as a project, the project will probably be dropped end of September. Okay. I'm thinking end An of EP. September. Yes. Seven to ten tracks, something like seven that. Seven tracks. Seven tracks. Lucky seven. Lucky seven. Any features <laughs> or straight you? Straight me. Straight you. Yeah. This is all melody. We're going to eat. This is all melody yeah, on this, this- one. <laughs> For real. Yeah, like me and the, I mean, the features will be me and the producer. Like, the, you'll you'll be able to tell me who's the, who's the best producer. Okay. You know, because it'll be different producers that's, you know, producing different songs. and. Who's Melody's favorite producer? Um. That's going to suck because these other producers are going to be like, what the fuck? Um, I can't even say who my favorite producer is right now because there's so many great producers. And there's so many people that I haven't had a chance to work with. And who knows how the sound would be with them. So Most definitely. as far as who as far as somebody I've worked with, um, it would have to be Kyle. And he's pretty low key, he's very undercover. Um, but as far as drip location, the sound of that song is very clear. It's a good right. song. So Kyle, he's getting it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh to hearing yeah. it shortly. Um I know you as a recording artist, but a lot of people also know you from modeling. For sure. So I guess I just want to ask you that. How has that been balancing both professions? And but I think you're really focused on the recording artist side now. Um, so modeling with me is just who I am. Right. You're like, yo, you I'm know? already beautiful, so I just <laughs> gotta get in the camera. Now. I'm always modeling. I'm always somewhere. I'm always doing something. I know everyone. So, but like with me as of right now, all of my modeling is going to be tied into my music. It's going to be tied into Melody Fleming as an artist. So you guys are going to see cute little Aaliyah photo shoot. You know what I mean? Like inspired. Crazy shoots too. Yeah, I'm going to do more things to let you know in the shoot that I'm an artist. So something crazy, something fun. Like the last two weeks I've had pink hair. I've been just doing different things to just try and just have fun, you know? So definitely going to be trying that. So y'all stay on the lookout for that. Y'all know what time it is. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all know what time it is, bro. It's Melody Fleming time. Um, Let everybody know right now where they can subscribe and follow you on all your channels. So everything is the same. Instagram, Melody Fleming underscore. Facebook, Melody Fleming fan page. On Facebook, Melody Fleming fan page. Damn, you got it I all. mean, they do. Somebody made a Melody Fleming fan page on <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> so you can follow them. <laughs> Shout Let's out go. to them. Shout the fan page. Um, other than that, you know, stay tuned on Melody Fleming underscore. The one and only. That's my only account. <laughs> Facts. Yo, you see it right there. It's Melody Fleming underscore. She got projects out right now. We're going to perform Drip Location in the studio, put the LEDs on, make it a straight vibe in here. I want everybody right now to make sure they're following Melody Fleming. Obviously, make sure you're following me at Matty Ice Show and uh, both of our YouTubes. Yo, she's incredible. She's doing a lot of things right now. I support her fully. Make sure you guys are on the same uh, the same train. And uh, with that, let's get this performance let's going. Get let's it. get it. Drip Location. Let's Drip go. Drip Location. I got Melody Fleming in the studio for a performance. This is rare. It's exclusive. Drip location. Let's get it. Melody Fleming, let's go. The biggest. Y'all know what time it is. Shout out Bel Air, the boss. Let's go. Drip location. Who the fuck you think you lying to? I get that money each and every way like, who are you? Who the fuck you think you lying to? Check. The way I switch locations, I make them upset. I switch it 
up like twins and then I cop a set. Who the fuck you think you lying to? I do what I want, I do what you can't do. Who the fuck you think you lying to? I do what I want, I do what you can't do. Don't like to bargain, I need my money in cash. I get that money fast and then I got a dash. Don't play with my heart because I become detached. Chase the liquor, sprite the lean, hope I don't crash. Mix the Vinci with the Finny, hip and splash. Period. Y'all know what the fuck time it is. Y'all know what's going on. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. Who the fuck you think you lying to? I get that money each and every way like who are you? Who the fuck you think you lying to? I get that money each and every way like who are you? Don't need no haters around me, gotta get back. Can't fuck with that nigga if he don't cut the check. The way I switch locations, I make them upset. I switch it up like twins and then I cop the set. Who the fuck you think you lying to? I do what I want, I do what you can't do. Who the fuck you think you lying to? I do what I want, I do what you can't do. Y'all know what time it is. I do what I do what the fuck I want. I do what the fuck you can. Yo, I ain't lying to you. Better not lie to Melody Fleming, boy. You be in trouble. Let's get it. Drip locations out right now. Tracks a vibe, bro. Thank you. Tracks Y'all don't forget to stream it on all digital platforms: Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Deezer, anything. Facts. Drip location is out right now. Yo, I'm a hell of a fan of you. I'm a supporter. Thank you. I'm gonna subscribe. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing everything that's coming up next because yo, you got the full package here. We got the recording artist, we got the model, businesswoman, um, entrepreneur. This is a package deal with Melody. For sure. If I was a label, I'd be sending my offer over immediately, fax number immediately. Like, where is it? Um, I'd be hitting you right now on the For DM. For sure. <laughs> so listen, I'm looking forward, you know, a year, two years from now, watching this interview. It's one of your first interviews. For sure. You're gonna be you're gonna be on stage and I'm gonna be like, yo, I got I got that first interview, bro. Right. So I'm gonna blow up from this, hopefully. You feel me? Right. Oh, uh, that's the goal. That's the ultimate for goal. For sure. But I appreciate you tapping in. I appreciate you coming no, to the studio, for sure. Maddie Eye Studio. And Studios. thank you for showing love. Of course, you yo. always. We, you know what time it is. Listen, this platform <laughs> shows love to the right artists, the artists that are out there about their music, about their grind, about their hustle. For sure, gotta have talent. You got it all. That's why you're here. Um, everybody follow <laughs> Mel- Melody Fleming right now on the gram. Melody Fleming underscore. Hit up her YouTube. Melody Fleming. Drip location is out right now on all platforms. Make sure you guys stream that. Um, subscribe to her. And then Prada Me is out too. Yes, Prada Me. Prada Me, bro. You know me. I fuck with that Prada too. So Prada Me is <laughs> out. Make sure you get a. Uh, make sure you stream that as well. Follow her. Hit her up if you're looking for a feature. Make sure the business ends right. Um, let's get it, yo. We we on to the next one. Let's Y'all go. I know what time it is. Shout out Melody Fleming. Let's go. The biggest Bel Air Black Bottle Boys. The boss. My boy Trap Da Vinci. Maxwell. The Kaleidoscope Kid. We out.